Hey, I'm C Dinky. And in today's video, we have some more grounded 1.4 news. There is no footage of this news. This is straight from an article. So this video isn't going to be as long as usual. And the big question in the room, is there a public playtest for grounded 1.4? No. We have no news yet, and I do not think there's a public playtest coming for Granted 1.4, so I'm guessing we all are going to have to wait for the official 1.4 release on April 16th. So in this article, they were talking about a few things, such as the new elemental weapons coming into Granted 1.4. What we know so far is a Sao Katana, a spicy mallet, and a fresh battle axe. Now let's all rejoice because Salty is now in the mix with this new image that they have posted. You can see Willa here holding what is to be the Salty battle axe, as well as Max in the middle holding the fresh mint sword that we already know about. We have Hoops with the strategist armor, which is the Fire Ant Queen's armor, as well as the brand new spicy battle axe. And then finally, we have Pete in the background who is hiding his weapon, but we can see it's a Salty because it's very white, has a very pointy edge, meaning that it could possibly be the new salty mace which could be pretty cool and before we go any further what do you think the most broken weapon elemental type is going to be in my opinion it is going to be the battle axe because i did a community post and you guys all think the exact same and this is all going off what the elemental weapons have right now so the spicy kultana has perfect blocking buffs the sour battle axe has an attack speed buff and the mince mace has an aoe slow effect but who knows all these different elements on the different weapons could be completely different such as the spicy mace could have an aoe burn effect or something like that now let's go ahead and talk about the new Ant Queens. There are three Ant Queens coming. We have the Red Ant Queen, the Black Ant Queen, and the Fire Ant Queen as shown on screen right here. This is the image of the Red Ant Queen. Yes, the Red Ant Queen and Fire Ant Queen look similar, but if you look at the ground and the background, it looks very different to what the Fire Ant Queen is in. Now there are three make an offerings to each Ant Queen. You have a befriend option, a betray option, and then a question mark option that we will need to find out for ourselves. And each path will give us, and I quote, unique rewards. And what I'm going with from the pack stream dream if you feed each ant queen a tasty treat, you're going to get a ant pet of their respective type. So a fire ant queen is going to give you a fire ant pet and so on. And now the path you choose determines not only the unique rewards you'll receive, but will also shape how the entire colony reacts to you. But tread carefully, some decisions have ripple effects that might not be immediately obvious. Now I'm going to say this right now, if you decide to poison the black ant queen, all of her offsprings later on will be all infected. As we can see in this picture here, you can see black ant parts that have the infected eye swell as well as the fungus growing out of the top of the ant's head. They are also adding 12 new ant related buildings into the game. Now I'm going to think that you're going to be able to craft four different types of ant related buildings to the respective queens. I guess we shall wait and see. And while we are on the topic of the ant queen there is also going to be a new mutation called the ant ambassador. We currently have no idea what this new mutation is going to be but I'm going to think there are going to be three stages for this mutation. So if you feed the red ant queen that's stage one. Feed the black ant queen that's stage two and if you feed the fire ant queen you're going to max out the mutation. Now we know there is going to be a new trinket added into the game when we kill infused bugs. This trinket is going to have two random properties on it, making it an RNG trinket for the best possible stats. And whilst in New Game Plus, they have confirmed that there are going to be new Omnip badges and a new burgled chip to be found in the New Game Plus stages. And the new Omnip badges also have two randomized properties. So it's exactly like the Science Waffle, but this time as an Omnip badge. So possibly a upside and also a downside of a random effect. Now we knew what was behind the door it was meant to be new game plus but now we know exactly what it's going to look like with this image here we see a giant teleporter in the middle which is called the remixer which is going to teleport us into different grounded universes so it's confirmed we now have the grounded verse in grounded and to enter this door we are going to need to defeat the hedge brewmother the mantis the wasp queen as well as the java manic and not the infected brewmother as of yet and now while we're in new game plus the devs have confirmed that the map is going to change not entirely but we are going to see subtle changes such as the oak tree's leaves might change color, the house in the background might be a different color, the sandbox crab might be a different color, and we will also see branding changes from all of our candies in the game. And now while in New Game Plus, we already know that the creatures are going to have more HP and be stronger, but there are also going to be infused bugs in the game which have a faster move speed, more attack and maximum health, as well as two random modifiers, which could possibly be an explosive on-hit effect and faster attack speed. And also, while in New Game Plus, they're going to change up the spawns of every single creature. So we might see a Black Ox Beetle at the kid's case. We do not know, we'll have to wait and see. 
as well as also finding, and I quote, a host of eerie anomalies and hidden secrets in these otherworldly dimensions. There will also be more milk molars added into New Game Plus that will be scattered all around the yard for everyone, so there is going to be no set location for each milk molar. So if you want to cheat and use a YouTube guide to find every single milk molar, you can't do that anymore. And in the blog, it does say to collect every single milk molar to enhance your strength even more. So I'm going to think that if you do not collect every single milk molar in New Game Plus 1 and go into New Game Plus 2, you're already going to be at a disadvantage because they're not going to add more milk molars so you can max out your character in new game plus too so make sure you collect your milk molars guys and that is going to do it for this video it's a very short one because it's a very short blog post but i hope you guys enjoyed if you made it this far into the video make sure to like and subscribe and leave down a comment of your feelings for grand 1.4 and i'll catch you guys in the next video